what's up guys it's HON and today I'm gonna bring you guys some key details and information about this new exciting game which is it probably could be the biggest survival game of the year <laughs> or in its time it's called Ark Survival Evolved and it starts off with a scene straight from Jurassic Park with this dinosaur chasing down this guy straight to his village where it is fortified you can see this guy with a spear and one with a one arrow it's two guys with two weapons a pistol and a shotgun Waiting. <laughs> so this game looks very good. It's made of Unreal Engine 4, which is pretty good. You can see this guy wakes up in a rust-like fashion, I would say, and he has that shard in his hand, which has a backstory. In the distance, you can see there's towers right there in the top left, which is a orb, a sacrificial tower, and there's one next to that dinosaur's head they're all around the map where you go to summon creatures so you, as you can see this is not H1Z1 you do start up with the choice of a male and a female character as you can see it looks kind of a mix of rust and a far cry kind of feeling but with dinosaurs there are dinosaurs which are extinct obviously And as you can see, this guy is... Well, let me just talk to you about the map. The map is a 48km map by 48. And it's, there's also caves, which makes it maybe about, uh, let's say, double that size. Because the caves are basically around, below the whole map. You can also dual wield, so you could have... You can basically have a map... a map and the compass at the same time in your hand. I couldn't get that frame. So you can ride dinosaurs and tame dinosaurs. You can see that there is a, a fat guy in the distance there and there's slim there is basically you have the choice to customize your correct uh, color and shape. So you can make him look fat and stumpy or slim as a twig. You can kill animals and yes there are weapons all types of weapons already in the game basically all what you are seeing are already in the game you can tame these dinosaurs and you can ride them you can put all your your loots or your your resources on them and so that you could go to different places so it has all the survival elements of the game you can kill animals and have harvest their resources actually it's no way different from rust except it's got dinosaurs and more well, fantasy and exotic stuff in it as you can see there is a farming system in the top left of the building and as you can see this water tower right there actually you will see it change from shape because you can you are able to upgrade your towers your your resource um your resource your resource miners also and upgrade them to metal as you can see it will turn to metal as you can see it turns to metal and at the top of the, the top of the base you can see there is something like a turret but it's not a turret <laughs> and you can see the the tribe has its its flag at the top also. Now I'm not sure if the turret is auto or manual but it's you'll be able to put harpoons in it. <laughs> well it's, it's it's basically a a caveman turret. You are able to make signs just like rust and 
write whatever you want on it. So some of the the dinosaurs, or some of the they are not dinosaurs actually in the game. There is another name for it, but some of them are not easy to tame. So this is very big, as you can see. He's not even half the size of this dinosaur right there, and it takes longer to tame. It takes longer resources. Basically, you need to. Well, you need to um, fight the dinosaurs and put them in a basically an unconscious state, and you need to rehabilitate them and feed them. And actually, depending on your level, you will be able to command them different. They'll be able to do different stuff, basically. And you'll be able to command them to go places, come, stay, and follow. So there are several commands that you'll be able to give them. Yes, you are be able to fly, and as you can see, he's in third person, which is for flying only. And that's what I was told. It's not for um, player combat or anything as yet, but it's in the game for player combat. But what I'm saying that. It's not planned to stay. As you can see, there is a underwater system, basically a, a whole world underwater. Basically, the fishes will be eating other fishes, and bigger fishes will be eating smaller fishes. And you'll be able to fish and swim and whatever that is possible. Yes, that is a lever action. And those Vosoraptors. This is. This here is one of the summon towers where you could go and summon creatures with rare items which you have to sacrifice. Underwater caves look real cool. Basically, this is everything you're gonna get in early access, which would be around 20. Five dollars, I think. You have giants, scorpions, which you can ride. So basically, it's 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 a dream come true for this game. A lot of kids are gonna be playing, it, even though it's for adults. And here you can see, which is the end game. This is what they call the end game reach. This dragon is basically summoned by a tribe, which is basically leveled up in a way that they could battle it so this is this is your goal to battle this dragon because you can see all these um, dinosaurs from the tribe is attacking the, the dragon because they are commanding it to attack so that's basically it for today if you want some more information, I'll most likely be able to give you that and give you a weekly digest, which will be simplified. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace.